here with Maria and Michelle. Hey. Animals of Deadly Class. How you doing? All right. Tell me, first of all, how did you guys end up coming to this project? You want to go? Um, it was funny because I was supposed to do a movie in my country, Venezuela, and I did not want to audition for this because I was very focused on that particular project. And I told my agent that I didn't want to because I needed to be um, to concentrate in this. And he begged me and called me and called me, so I finally put myself on tape and went back to my country to shoot the movie. And the very first day of shooting that movie, I got the call that... I got the role just with that self-tape and that I had to basically abandon the movie and fly to Vancouver and shoot the pilot and, and, and I did and I'm here and it was the best decision of my life. Wow. <laughs> you know, it was a crazy story for me. I got the audition for one of the other characters and when I first read the audition, I didn't know what, was, uh, what I was getting myself into but I really liked the audition and the audition talked about Chico. And I was like, yo, that Chico character seems like a, like a bad guy, you know, like poor, poor of the character that I'm auditioning for. But then I did the audition and they sent me back an email saying like, yo, we love the audition, but we want to see you for another character. His name is Chico. And I'm like, oh, the guy from the, the audition? He's like, yeah, the one that beat, beat the guy up in the audition. I'm like, oh, sure. And so they sent me the audition for Chico. I did the audition. It was a weird one because it involved a fight. And I got together with three friends. One handled the cell phone, one held the, handled like the mic, and my other one, like we did a choreography together. And so we actually got on, on like a front yard and started like fighting each other, part of the audition. And then they called me too, man. They're like, yo, we love it. Can you do some chemistry reads and camera tests? And I'm like, I'm in Mexico City, I can't fly. And they're like, oh, we're gonna have to think about it. And so like I, I was all sad and stuff. And then one day after they're like, okay, no camera, no chemistry reads. See you in Vancouver. And it was awesome. It was awesome. That's a great story. Yo, it's a great story, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. How did you... So I want to know, without giving any spoilers, yeah. in a nutshell, what can we expect in Deadly Class? Ooh. Okay, you can expect to follow a unique coming-of-age story uh, full of ancient mystery and a lot of 80s nostalgia. Mm -hmm. What else? Yo, you can follow the story of our lead character, Marcus, who's this like ethical person that comes into this dark world. And the thing is, can you stay ethical in such a dark world? You're gonna see a lot of young, new faces. All are so talented. We have uh, old faces. We have Henry Rollins. We have Benedict Wong. We have Erica Carrera. We have so such a diverse cast, and they're all so talented. And the writing, man, the writing. Rick and Miles, they went out the window with the writing. It's so true to the comics, if you've seen the graphic novel. But still, if you haven't seen the graphic novel, if you don't know what Deadly Class is, you're going to fall in love with the story, man, because every character is so unique so human and so pure and everything is amplified by the fact that we are teens yeah um hormones and yeah. that we are assassins in training a hundred percent you know like uh the story is really inviting and it's really awesome and then you're gonna get lost in the story of different characters but always you get reminded that this is an academy for assassins and stuff goes wrong and <laughs> all the people time. die Danger and so is all around. Yeah, you know, like the stakes are really there. You know, like every episode you're like, oh, this is kind of, oh my God. You know, like you get reminded that this is real. So both of you come from a background with telenovelas. Oh yeah. <laughs> what does it mean uh, to be part of a series like this? And also as a new wave of actors and actresses. To Latino representation. <laughs> Yeah. It's a blessing. Man. It's a blessing. Yeah. Even uh, we we had a great time on set. We oh, really enjoyed 100%. working together. Yeah. We enjoyed talking in Spanish, so um, yeah. people wouldn't understand 100%. what we were saying, which was awesome. And we also really fought for um, our characters to speak in Spanish mm -hmm. um, in different um, okay, scenes, so, yeah. which was really important for us. 100%. And because we really want to represent our our community, uh, we definitely don't have that many roles out there in Hollywood for Latinos, and this is the first TV show that I see where um, a, a 
uh, people of color get to be leads in a in an awesome TV show and get to kick ass and get to be these amazing badass characters and and we really want to be the best that we can yeah. so you know Hollywood and people out there know that we too are talented for all yeah, these roles. We're, we're out here you know like uh, every year goes by and casts become way more diverse and not only that being able to represent such a good community like the Latino community it's crazy for us because you know uh, Maria started when she was really young I started when, she, when I was really young and so we thought you know like I've been at this process for like at least five ten years and so finally getting the chance to prove myself to another business to you know a, a whole other community of the Hollywood business is amazing and not only that being able to be a face so any boy or girl in Latin America sees us and be like wow you know she's she's doing that I can do that he's doing that I can do that you know like being able to inspire other people in the Latino community to start fighting for themselves and and make that gap you know follow your dreams and fight hard all right, really quick. Three reasons everyone should watch Deadly Class. Ooh. That's that's always the hardest question for me because there are a thousand reasons. Okay, uh, fine, a thousand uh, reasons. You know, uh, I can I can give you this: uh, action, uh, betrayal, and awesome story writing. And it's very honest. It's raw. There's no filter. Everything is straight from the comic and, yeah. and you feel um, represented and you feel and you relate to those characters because you feel like you are an, you've been an outsider too. Yeah, you've been neglected. Everyone so, has. So there you go. Yeah. And many other reasons that yeah, you know, we this can, interview we will be so them. long. You gotta <laughs> why why don't you guys see the episode and you write to us the reasons why they should watch that. Like yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Can you send a shout out to Pulso Pop? Yeah. Of course. My my people, Pulso Pop. My name is Mitch Tuva. Yo soy María Olá de Faria. We send you a lot of kisses. Mwah. Deadly class, January 16. Let's go. <laughs>